I love getting to do videos from my phone because I can be anywhere. So we're going to keep on using the smaller videos every now and then because it's just easier and I get more content out to you all. And uh, wherever I'm at, you'll always hear from me if I can. Obviously, sometimes I might not be able to. That's for my regular lovely watchers, viewers, listeners. Okay, so when your home is welcoming and united, that is why we have secure attachments. So the empowered woman, and I'm a 5D mystic, not 4D. So I'm not on Elsa's journey. In fact, I know this lovely crow, universal law, truth. Let me read to you something because we were talking about that. And the inner child is the truth that the 4D uh, doesn't know because they're on Elsa's journey. They're too busy thinking that spells are about witches and witchcraft and all that other stuff. So the reality is, here's what happens when you overflow with humanity. Since you don't break away from being a restorative embodiment, that's me, a zero one year old right here with three year old. Uh, we know of this thing called grace. I was introduced to Jesus and God when I was growing up, so I'm lucky like that. But what I was really lucky about is that I have a twin. So I'm always connected to humans without thinking I mistrust, dislike, or hate. So I'm not in any way, shape, or form a misanthropist. In fact, my entire life I've heard people say, humans suck, humans this. And I'm like, well, I get frustrated too by stupidity, but you do realize we're humans. So can you stop insulting yourself, by the way? And they, no, I'm not. I'm just uh, insulting others. I'm like, well, we all can be sheep, you know, right? <laughs> So, long story short, the truth of the crow is, where are you? Ah, oh, let's see. The winged one insists that we speak truth, that we create truth instead of searching for it, and that we bring truth to every situation we find ourselves in. However, the truth is not something that we can really settle on because quantitative data is where I go to look for that kind of word, truth. When I think of qualitative, none of it is true. That's why nobody's on a pedestal for me ever. Not even, yep, nobody. You can come tell me anything. I told God what you did with Cain and Abel, what you did with this, uh, whatever, Moses, whoever it was with the kid. I don't remember. This is the part. I don't remember data like that. I said, I don't think it was nice at all. And I'm going to say, if you want us to be good, because that's what I was being taught, to be a good person, then this is unnecessary. There's no need for sacrifice. There's no need for any of, you know, what people do. But then again, I'm a inner child right here. So people say that this is naivete or gullibility or all of it. Nope. I just have a zero one year old and a three year old that wasn't fear mongered. Thank you, mother. So because I know my humanity, I'm empowered to say I accept and respect you and love you just the way you are, which is why when we meet inconsistent men, we're not going to shame, blame, fault, or do squirrel attitude from Cusco land, which is, I'm going to take revenge. And somehow pent up revenge stuff happens with people who have attachment, envy, jealousy. I've seen it. I've seen the desperate women with manipulative tactics, and they literally will twist their story and be the hero of their story again and again and again and make a villain out of another human being or more and then out of the entire you know gender of men and women so we got those groups of people who are seriously in pent-up anger from their childhood to being grown-ups and they don't get attachment trauma informed so the 4d like to you know spend time in conspiracy theories and all of technology is taking away our humanity and the 3d just keeps on saying how we're all going to hell so we leave them alone because this is a 5D collective. It's called integration of the brain. So you know that there is no truth. You know quantitative data versus qualitative. And social media is social. It has nothing to do with profession, even though I'm a professional. But right now I'm a content creator. So I'll be a personal development professional when you come to me for a one-on-one -on -one or the master class. And that's when we do serious business. So if you're not serious about personal development and emotionally lifting or awareing and you're not going to come on over to HP. We inspire infinite higher human conscious potential, not just random. Okay, so if you don't take the memory that is your trauma memory that I have too, but mine is not charged because I got a mom who taught me, hey, watch your tone, three-year-old, but go have fun like a three-year-old. Okay, so this is why creating a new truth is not about us uh, breaking away from anything except for the ignorance, the evil, ignorant people that are in Michael Stone's scale, but also just evil, ignorant people who think yoga brings demons out of you instead of doing research and learning about Peter Levine and learning about the truth about how to alchemize when your past comes up and overflows, basically non-bilateral integrated people. So anyone who's inconsistent, man, woman, might they be a connection? You know what an empowered woman does? 
what I learned to do as a teenager, which is to tell the truth in their face. And then I learned how not to because everyone apparently doesn't have an ego. So I just said, you know what? I'm going to, thanks, mom, review my responsibility. Mm, let me think. My mother taught me who does for themselves does for three. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. You know why? I'm a nurturer. It's what a divine feminine is, which is why any person who wants to be a divine feminine or using the word, they are not yet a divine feminine as long as they are insulting another human being in the absence of having compassion. So how does an empowered woman handle an inconsistent man? I'm now attachment trauma informed. So I know that if I encounter, whether it be a narcissist or somebody with borderline personality, I feel sad because what I've seen is Pinocchio's with ears and tails. So they go out, they fuck, they drink, they do drugs, or they isolate. So when I see somebody, one, walling themselves off, I'm like, oh, thank goodness, I don't have to deal with any of the inconsistency. So I don't have to be the person who tries to figure out how to talk to you about something that you don't even know about because you're you know, past keeps coming up, you know something's off, you don't go to good therapy because somehow you're either surrounded by ignorant people or you yourself judge therapy because there's plenty of people that in my years of 44, <laughs> as a grown-up, not a teenager, teenager had no idea about the therapy stuff. Then I got to become attachment trauma-informed and I'm like, wow, okay, there's all these people, they need personal development or therapy, they're not doing it. And the women, they get pissy with the men. So as an empowered woman, I don't have pissiness with men. I feel bad for the men who don't go get good therapy because they're not badass, they're not passionate. They have a 16-year-old who's ruling their world, and if there's even more than that, then they are confused, and it's sad because they don't have to be. But they will tell you how, no, no, it's inaccessible, Maria. Well, that's where we're going to create conversation. So we have the how-tos people, and we have the people that say, when I meet an inconsistent man, I don't do anything except for accept them for who they are. If they're open to any kind of interesting conversation, I will talk about all that I get to learn, and they will talk about who they are. And so there you go. We start to begin to enlighten each other. And that's why it's beautiful. When I meet uh, those who are interested in physical, I don't because I'm very straightforward. I'm going to build a friendship with you. I don't know you. <laughs> I love you already because that's who I am. Or I'm a divine feminine who loves because I'm a one-year-old and a three-year-old. And I'm present. So I'm already curious, open, accepting, and loving. Thank you, Daniel Siegel. That's because I'm an integrated brain. A self-empowered human being knows how to love themselves first. We're spirituality because we live a life of meaning and connection beyond the solo self. I already did that when I began life in the fetus because I have a twin, so I'm lucky, which is why it's so easy for me to just be me, which is why the bullshit of sacrifice, yeah, there, there is no sacrifice. Now, there is this balance of energy. I've noticed it. I've noticed that the enlightenment... So age group people and the path to enlightenment, it's very beautiful for those of us who choose love and bliss. The ones who choose to do, let me go see, where are you? Number 34, because we, we reviewed this in the short, but just in case you don't get a hold of the short, I'm going to let you know there are some people that choose the path of loss and suffering. Uh, yes, so some of us, we don't. We do wisdom and we do bliss because we can choose from here my divine masculine is my prefrontal and my heart now those who have trauma charges and more than just that what they can use is good therapists like patrick tiahan who shares how many childhood trauma survivors don't go to get good therapy and why they don't want to do the emotional hard work and i'm going to say yeah patrick i've seen it they come to me for reiki for tarot for akashic record readings for everything but the minute you mention hey do you know what trauma bonding is do you know about healthy self-worth? Have you noticed that you don't have boundaries and your power, no, porous, powerlessness? Like, have you noticed that you could go do some personal development? No, no, I'm not saying you're fucked up. Nobody's fucked up. We all are a person and in our inner child, we can bring that forth. So people don't like to hear the truth, even when you're explaining to them in the most <laughs> easygoing way possible. And so again, many paths you get to choose. We're human love because we use our brain, the blade. It's used to say, okay, let me look at those emotions. In time, I will, I will expand a window of tolerance to a window of welcome. Some of us have a window of welcome because we have emotions and that's because we're human. So when you overflow with humanity, divinity has to descend. An empowered woman will not shoo away any inconsistent man or women or theys because we have no fear of a person who has no weapons in a hand but has the need of a secure attachment figure, which is what 5D relationships are all about. We build 
safe haven, secure basis for people who want to do the work with us and good therapists. Tune in for more.